Hi, my name is Christelle Porter, and I'm running for City Council Ward 5 here in Minneapolis. I'm actually standing here at Farview Park, which is situated just a few blocks away from Northern Metals and a roof shingle asphalt factory. North Minneapolis is actually surrounded by five metal recycling facilities and two asphalt roof shingle factories. This park is actually frequented by a lot of children in North Minneapolis and their families. Every day, we have to deal with the effects from these recycling centers. A lot of people don't understand how this affects us. The way that the metal is actually recycled is it's broken up into tiny fibers, which is all throughout our air. And it's the reason why we have the highest asthma rates in the entire state. In 1968, people talk about how Plymouth Avenue burned but people don't know that the rubble from those buildings was dumped along the Mississippi River on our side of the river. People don't know that Bassett Creek was buried underneath North Minneapolis years ago. 75% of Bassett Creek is inaccessible to North Minneapolis residents. And the 25% that is accessible is completely polluted. We need to remediate the Mississippi River. We need to remediate and clean up Bassett Creek and make it accessible to our residents. I'm somebody who has always been passionate about our environment, has been very passionate about the injustices that we have had to undergo when it comes to environmental issues in North Minneapolis. Why is it that the entire Hennepin County burns its trash in North Minneapolis? We need to create spaces in North Minneapolis where we can recycle light bulbs and batteries and other toxic materials so it doesn't end up at the hurt. We need to incentivize residents through the utility bills, the ones that decide to adopt a stormwater drain and report the trash they clean up out of it. We need to make sure that the new development that's coming through North Minneapolis is built sustainably, that we implement renewable energy and water sensitive urban land design, we need to make sure that the parks in North Minneapolis are surrounded by roundabouts to decrease the amount of stormwater that's going into our river and our creeks. And we also need to make sure that every single sidewalk has boulevards. I promise that once I get elected onto city council, that I'm gonna make sure that these things happen. The other issue I wanted to bring up was our economics. Anyone who lives in North Minneapolis knows that we do not have our basic needs met. If you go up and down our business corridors, you'll see many empty lots that are owned by the city of Minneapolis. Every single year, our city council votes and approves outside developers to be able to extend their rights to develop on these lands. When they submit an application, they have to promise to develop something there within two years. I don't know about you, but I've been here my whole life and I still have yet to see something be developed on many of those properties. The problem with that is when our commercial properties have no businesses on them, we're missing out on a major tax base. Commercial properties pay twice as much property tax than residential properties. This is a missed opportunity. This is money that could be going towards our schools, our parks and our roads. We have developers right here in North Minneapolis that would be willing to put something there, yet they're never given that opportunity. What would it look like if we could get the developers and entrepreneurs to work together here in North Minneapolis to build spaces that would fulfill our basic needs and even create a destination spot for people all over the community? Our city invested into the development of the Capri Theater. It's a beautiful development. What would it look like if we could build an entertainment district around that? Every single time the Capri hosts a show on Broadway, we see all of the attendees leave, get in their cars and drive away because there's nothing for them to do afterwards. Why don't we have sit down restaurants? The entire North side has four restaurants that people could sit down and enjoy a meal but you go anywhere else in the city, you could find four restaurants on one block. I served as a career counselor in North Minneapolis for many years. 
And one of the biggest problems that I always encountered was the fact that my participants could not find a job in their neighborhood. Many of them had to take three buses outside of the community just to find a job, leaving their kids alone for hours to be able to take a bus back home and get home late at night. We need entry-level jobs. We need entry-level jobs in North Minneapolis. You've heard of the, the term, if you build it, they will come. That still holds true in North Minneapolis. The issue with North Minneapolis is, if you build something anywhere else in the city, people will come. However, in North Minneapolis, we need to build a market so that we can start to build the businesses 